All right, this morning air travelers face a new level of attention at airport airport checkpoints. The TSA will now inspect passengers carry on bags for powdered material. That is anything from cosmetic to drink mixes. Chris Van Cleve is at Newark Liberty International Airport. That's just outside New York City. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Beginning today, when you come to the airport checkpoint, you're going to start to hear uh, TSA officers asking you to take larger containers of powder out of your bags, uh, things above 350 milliliters. That's about equivalent to a can of Coke. And it's going to be just the same way you do your laptop or powders and gels. They want to give that secondary screening so they can look closer at those items. Now, the TSA is checking a range of items like powder cosmetics, baby powders, and drink mixes, even protein powder. At this point, passengers will be encouraged, but typically not required, to pack those items into their checked bags. That's really the preference here. The TSA would like to see you check them, not carry them on. Now, similar to food, I food items, officers may also recommend even pulling smaller containers of powder out of your bag uh, for separate screening. The new regulations are meant to reduce the chances explosive material or de uh, debilitating agent like pepper spray can get on board an airplane, but also those powders can look like explosive material on an x-ray and that can lead to extended bag searches which slows the line down. So bottom line, you're going to start hearing language that the TSA and airlines would prefer you to check large containers of powder, more than 350 milliliters. You'll still be able to carry them on if you really need to have it with you, but you're going to need to take it out of your carry-on bag. And these rules only apply in the standard lanes, not in the pre-check lanes. John? Chris, thanks.